Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much uh, for being here, for taking time to join us today. Uh, we are very grateful to have you here and excited for the, uh, for the proceedings that we have today. And we hope that this will be a very productive meeting. Um, this is uh, a meeting for the Kenya Women as Professional Mediators Agenda. And uh, for today, we'll be going through the agenda and then uh, we'll be going through it and discussing it through the sessions and uh, putting our heads together to, to see how we can work together on this. Uh, to start us off, we'll start with the national anthem uh, in Kiswahili. I will put it up on the screen and then uh, you can come along with me. We'll start. Sorry, let me just put it up on the screen. And so we will do the national anthem, the second stanza in English, and I will walk you through it in Kiswahili, and I will walk you through it. I'm Kenny Nduguzetu, Tufanye Sote Bidi, Nasi tujitoe kwa nguvu, inchi yetu ya Kenya, tunayo ipenda, tuwe tayari kuilinda. Thank you so much. Again, um, as I said earlier at the beginning, um, we are going to go through the, the Kenya the Kenya Women as Professional Mediators Agenda today, and uh, we hope to have a productive session. Um, I will also put this one on the screen. Uh, I will go through the agenda and then we can now tackle each of the thematic areas moving forward after I have gone through the whole agenda. Um, So this in front of you, we have the Kenya Women as Professional Mediators Agenda. And as the, call, the goal is uh, in front of you, we have uh, plus uh, 10,000 Kenyan women mediators in mediation for the year 2021 to 2022, who are inspired, empowered, and supported. <clears throat> The objective uh, is to have strategic positioning of Kenyan women mediators to influence the practice of mediation in Kenya and the mediation profession internationally. The purpose, which is our why, why are we doing this? Um, it is conflict transformation in society in terms of understanding the approach and the settlement of conflict. The tagline that, the, that we have is wajue na wakujue. The culture that we hope to cultivate with this agenda is respect, collaboration, and togetherness. And then the date is, uh, as of today, is Saturday, the 1st of May, 2021. And um, I will jump right off to the, to the discussion points and what we are talking about um, in this meeting. So as you can see in front of you, the first thematic area that we are going to be talking about is uh, self-development. And we're talking about self-development of women mediators. And here we are referring to the intrinsic value um, of us women and our worth. And the areas that we are focusing on are self-awareness, uh, courage and confidence, public speaking, digital capabilities, and self-care. And the question that we're asking ourselves to be able to cater for this thematic area is that how might we stimulate the intrinsic value of Kenyan women influence, uh, mediators to step out in courage that they are equipped and competent and confident of their worth? And so that is the first thematic area. Um, the second thematic area uh, refers to branding as women mediators. And here we are talking, uh, we're basically talking about what is the external transactional value of women mediators and in brackets monetized. Then we're looking at this external transactional value being monetized. And so the focus areas in this case are 
we are focusing on the individual uh, woman mediator. We are talking about the practice. By the practice, as you can see in brackets there, we have farm. We're talking about the practice, for example, um, the business, the farm, the operation, how you, uh, and how you operate it, how you brand it, and how you present it um, collectively. How are we branded collectively as um, woman, uh, women mediators? And then uh, also the last one is um, branding for high level panels. How do we brand ourselves and present ourselves um, for high level panels? And the question here we are looking at is, how might we package the external transactional value of Kenyan women mediators in their practice of mediation so that they can be visible and to create an impression and be monetized. And that is the question that we will be seeking to answer so that we can um, focus, we can be able to address this thematic area and the focus areas um, highlighted there. Uh, the second, the third one is uh, collaborative actions. And here, what we are basically referring to is what is the shared value that we are, we, are, we are bringing to the table? What is the impact that we can be able to create um, collectively? And so the focus areas in this case are there are self-organized clusters to impact key stakeholders in the industry. Uh, we are also referring to self-organized clusters on practice areas. We are talking about chapters. We are talking about affiliations, both locally and internally, internationally. We're talking about conflict transformation uh, in terms of capacity building of triage stakeholders. And lastly, we are talking about movements uh, in, in terms of informal, both formal and formal. And here we are talking about associations, societies, projects, initiatives. And so to satisfy this thematic area, the question we're looking at is how might we encourage shared value in Kenyan women mediators so that they can gel in the spirit of collective action in order for them to create impact? And uh, the fourth thematic area we are talking about, enablers. And in brackets, as you can see there, we have agility, value, and leverage. How can we increase agility, value, and, and, and leverage? And then we're talking about technology, tech power, and how best to leverage on it. Here, what we're basically referring to is how we can increase the agility value and be able to leverage on it. <clears throat> Uh, and, 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 and what we are basically, and, and enablers are the elements that are meant to enable us or to increase our value, or increase our ability to be agile in the industry, to grow where we need to grow, improve on what we need to improve, use the tools that we have available to us to improve our profession and improve our individual practice as well as our, as well as our collective practice. And so the question that we are looking at here is how might we enable agility in Kenyan women mediators to be competently confident to leverage on technology? And so technology is uh, one of uh, one. We look at technology as an enabler because I mean this is um, it's a new world, a new dispensation. We are look at we are looking also at a world post post the pandemic where does technology uh, fall in that? What value does technology bring on the table? And how can we leverage ourselves as Kenyan women mediators to be able to take advantage of this um, facility that is around us and how in order to improve our practice and um, improve the profession in general? The last thematic area that we are looking at is um, collaborators and or stakeholders in brackets, um, transformational value. And here we are referring to movers and shakers. How can we you know, have these transformational values and be able to be movers and shakers to the industry? And we're looking at collaborators and or stakeholders such as all, uh, all mediators. Of course, that has to be the number one because all mediators are um, stakeholders being the key movers and shakers in the industry, being the people that will enable this to be <clears throat> a moving vehicle. Um, we're looking at the office uh, uh, collaborators such as Office of the Attorney General. Uh, in terms of the state, we're looking at the Judiciary of Kenya. We're looking at the Nairobi Center for International Arbitration and the NCIA. We're looking at religious institu institutions. We're looking at academia. We're looking at mediation service centers. We're looking at uh, county governments, local administration. We are here, we're looking at county commissioners and chiefs, the Kenya Police Service. 
commercial institutions, societies and associations, community-based organizations, uh, the CBOs, faith-based organizations, the SBOs, non-governmental organizations, the NGOs, um, traditional and cultural organizations and council of elders. Uh, elders. <clears throat> of course, this uh, list is uh, not exhaustive and it is a list that can continue on and on and on for, and, and, and continue adding more collaborators and stakeholders, but this is just the beginning. And the question that we are looking at here is how might we enhance, enhance the transformational value of Kenyan women mediators through strategic positioning as the movers and shakers of mediation in Kenya? And uh, so that, that, that is the agenda. As you can see, it has five thematic areas. <clears throat> and if you look at it, uh, we have the thematic area and we have the key question that we are seeking to answer so that we can be able to now, um, to, to be able to answer the focus areas, cater for the focus areas in, within the thematic areas. And then we look and we see we have a column for ideas and thoughts. Anything is welcome. Anything is a good idea. Anything that allows progress or discussion um, is welcome. And then the hope is to be able to develop from this smart action points that can now be put into practice and uh, so that we can be able to now turn this from an idea to <clears throat> uh, a, 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 a movement, so to speak. So, and with that, we have come to the point where we will be going through, um, where we'll be going through the agenda step by step. We'll be going through uh, each thematic area. And then uh, at this juncture, your, your, everyone is welcome to give their thoughts and, and, and express themselves and uh, so that you can be able to come out with a document, a collective document. Um, I will introduce our convener, Midita Wangari, to be able to, to say something and also help us take us through this next phase of the presentation. Thank you. Karibu sana, Midita Wangari. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Midita Emerald Midaga, for the introduction. Uh, colleagues, uh, I greet you and uh, I wish you a happy Labor Day. And uh, it's uh, actually a very opportune evening for us to be convening because we are speaking about a vocation or the labor that uh, we are bringing in as mediators. And uh, it's an exciting conversation as we continue to uh, keep the discussions going with regard to how we can uh, ensure that Kenya can have plus 10,000 uh, women mediators who are inspired, empowered, and you know they are actually supported. So I thank you for joining this call. And uh, just as with the other uh, conversations that we have heard, uh, each of the conversations has helped us to elevate this um, message and the conversation and in elevating it to help to concretize it. Uh, you notice like uh, the, the uh, presentation that uh, Mediator Emerald Midega has provided to us during the last sessions, we did not have um, this presentation with us. Um, this presentation uh, for quite a number of you who've been with us on the, on the several calls that we have heard, um, some of the elements would be familiar because it could either be contributions that came from you or someone else who was on the conversation because the conversations have been very diverse. The conversation about women in, on, uh, from the Women in Mediation Leadership um, uh, Kenya that started off in 2018, 2019 and has continued on. So now um, in the year 2021 is when now it was put out in terms of, so how do we, how do we take on a, big, a challenge that's bigger than all of us? How do we are one? I'm one, you are one. How do we look for 9,999 9, others? How do we look for 9,999 other women so that we can actually uh, cause uh, a, a significant transformation of um, the mediation practice um, in, in, um, in Kenya? And so we thank you for uh, joining this conversation. Uh, Mediator Emerald will be, uh, will, uh, has taken us through the entire I want to say it's like consolidation of the conversations that have been going on. And so right now we will be going through one by one the thematic areas and the key question. Then 
we will put openly the key questions so that we can have input from uh, anyone who has input. You can give your input by uh, opening your microphone or you can give your input by sending it into the chat. We are this is still an ongoing conversation that is um, out there for the community. So uh, mediator Emerald, kindly. So we start off with uh, the first thematic area. Uh, when we were having the conversations and asking, our, and, and, and in the conversations, uh, yes, it, it, it came out or the part of the contributions was that it would be useful for women mediators to be able to strengthen themselves in, in, inwardly. And that inward is what now um, has been brought out as a statement of self-development of women mediators. And it's focused on the intrinsic value or worth. So the key question that we have for everyone who's on, um, on the call right now is how might we stimulate the intrinsic self-value of Kenyan women mediators to step out in courage that they are equipped, competent, and confident of their worth? So that is the question we have. For each of the questions, we have uh, four minutes to be able to respond to them. Today we are running through them we, and then we, so that we are familiarized with them. So do we have uh, anyone who has uh, any uh, views? It, uh, all the views are welcome. Any ideas or thoughts on how we may stimulate the intrinsic value for you as a woman mediator, for you to really experience, you know, that you're equipped, competent and confident or even for the other women mediators who are not uh, on this call and also others who are not even yet women mediators. So the, the, the floor is open for input. There may be an area that touches you more than the other, that's fine. So the area that you feel you want to give input, that's welcome. Damaris Wanja, did you want to say something? I see you're muted. Yeah, not really. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the the area when it comes to self development, self awareness, uh, courage. Uh, the aspect of public speaking, digital capability, and enhancing digital capabilities and self-care. What what can be done uh, so that we can enhance this for women mediators is really the question that we have with us. So, in your take. So the next aspect that we have is with regard it in the area of branding, we will move to the number two. And um, as we run through them, in case some of them, some of them, yes, have um, or are overlapping, then you, uh, your ideas, an idea may come uh, on any of them, even as after I've gone through uh, them, they feel free to be able to uh, point it out. So branding as women mediators, and uh, this relates to uh, your, the and now let me speak into uh, you who's on the call, your external transaction of value, you being able to monetize, uh, you being able to monetize your, your mediation practice. So the question we are asking is how may, might we package the external transaction of value or pricing of the Kenyan women mediators in the practice of mediation to be visible, to create an impression and to be monetized? So that is the question. Do we have uh, any insights? Repeat the question, madam. Okay. Uh, yes. Um. Uh, let me let me re read it again. And, and uh, yeah. Thank you, Emerald. You're expanding the screen. If you could, yes. That's that 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 should be much visible. Thank you very much, uh, Mediator Emerald. So I repeat the the question. The key question we have 
uh, with regard to branding as women mediators, which relates to the, the transactional value, which is uh, on pricing or being able to monetize um, uh, yourself as an individual mediator, your practice as a firm collectively as women mediators, and then also being able to target high level panels uh, that actually pay for your services. So the question we have is how might we package the external transactional value or the pricing of the Kenyan women mediators in their practice of mediation to be visible, create an impression and to be monetized. That is the question in the area of branding as women mediators. Do we have any, in, any insights or views? So what we are asking here is, for instance, let me take the high level panels. The United Nations has, has, has panels, a uh, panel for mediators. So what is required so that we, let me use the word, we can be able to brand, you know, the Kenyan woman mediator, in, uh, in other words, yourself, so that you can actually be able to be accepted on that panel. We have the Nairobi Center for International Arbitration. I know colleagues may have applied and some may have gotten through, some may not have gotten through, um, that's in Kenya here. So what, do we, what, is, what, what can be done or what can you even do as an individual so that such a panel you can get on? We have colleagues who are uh, aiming to get onto the judiciary. What can they do or what would actually enable them to uh, be able to get onto that panel? Uh, there are international panels uh, that, um, that are there. Um, again, uh, if you're running a practice or a farm, I mean, how can, what might be done or what can you do so that you can package it to be one, uh, a farm that people choose to come to? Do we have any insights on uh, branding as women mediators? Okay, we'll move to the third one. So the third Madam, one is before on... you move to the third one, I think. Yes, please. We can I go think back to I Brandy. have an yes. input on the question. Yes, please, Selena. Are we I just... think I have Welcome. an input. Yeah, yes, I have please. an input on the branding. Yes, please. Uh, according to me, I think we as women mediators, we to be in order to be accepted in the international platform. We are going to have that exposure. Uh, selling, selling. And I'm wondering, how shall we expose ourselves? How can we have that exposure of ourselves? At the same time, we are supposed to be aware of ourselves for us to be, to be aware of other people's emotions, other people's behavior, and other people's acceptance, at least for that one to be noticed by everybody. Otherwise, moving on that higher ranking to us, as Kenyan women becomes a problem because we are not all that uh, uh, exposed. For example, as for me now, um, I come from Western and I've come to Nairobi just to register for the women mediators. I have not yet uh, appeared to the offices, but I think by Monday I'll be in your offices. You see, it is very difficult for all of us to be at the same place to be noticed. So I'm wondering, how shall we go about it? Or what shall be done? Or what is the government supposed to do for us? At least to expose, you know, we cannot expose ourselves anyhow because actually we are not aware. And mediation had just start, has just started in Kenya. Let me say maybe it has taken some two, three years since it, it came to Kenya. And so many people are not aware of it. So before we market ourselves to those higher ranking, I think we are supposed to market ourselves here internally first before we move there. As the, since I think to me, moving to those ranks is a process. It's a process and we need to take them the way they are. So I don't know how we are going to treat that. Maybe your input, madam. Okay. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, uh, Madea, Mediator Selina Awinja. And uh, what I hear from your, your, your input, uh, your comments is with regard to the fact that first we require mediation to get to be known. 
before we can start talking about even ourselves, people need to get to know about mediation. It's like people getting to know about, uh, uh, let me say like, yeah, yeah uh, a certain meal, then now we can start advertising the chef uh, for that particular meal. So uh, yes. yeah, thank you very much for that uh, particular input. I think something else I have heard from you, uh, considering you've said that you're from Western and you're- Can I also Europe. add something? Yes, yes, kindly, yeah, 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 and read, I'll come to you. Yes, thank you. Yeah, um, uh, let me summarize uh, what Selena has said so that we don't lose it, Selene. Um, the second, I think something else I've heard from a distance um, uh, from um, uh, mediator Selena Winger is with regard to the fact that there seem, it, it seems that um, the mediation opportunities are centralized. If, if we can say like they are centralized in the city, in the Nairobi city, and we have counties, we have regions that are out of Nairobi, so it, it probably may not necessarily fall under branding, but it would be good if we just list it here right now in terms of that there is need for um, wider um, opportunities, opportunities being widened from not only in the cities or in Nairobi into uh, the other regions so that women who are in those other regions can also be able to tap or um, have access into those opportunities. So yes, uh, yes. Thank you, thank you very much, um, uh, Selena Winja, for those comments. We may now come kindly come to uh, Andrid Kamunde. Yes, please. Okay. Um, as Andrid Kamunde is coming in, is there any other comment or we can move to the next, we can move to number three, kindly. We may move to number Mr. three. Wangari. Yeah, yes, kindly. Uh, Okenya, Okenya, welcome. Yes, please. Uh, good evening, members. <clears throat> good evening. Sorry, I am joining the, the group of women and the 40s. Uh, for this three. time, please. Appreciate uh, uh, yes, uh, meeting uh, if, if, if possible physical. And then we come. Okay. Okay. Can okay, you okay, kindly hold on? We are having an overlap by with uh, Andrid kindly. Uh, okay, yeah, I, the, I, I think I. Andrid Kamunde, we we kindly request if you could uh, repeat what you've said. Mediator, can you kindly hold on? Okay, uh, uh, Mediator Andrid, we uh, we are not able to hear you. I request that you kindly send to the chat uh, uh, the the message you have for us, as uh, Mediator Kenya Kenya kindly. Uh, th thank you, thank you, Mr. Wangari. Are you hearing me? Hello, are you hearing me? Yes, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry we are having a, a still the overlap with um, um, uh, Emerald. You may kindly side chat, uh, mediator and read so that uh, you can alert her. We are not able to hear her very well so that we stop big, the, having the overlap. Thank you very much. Yes, yes kindly, Mediator Kenya. Thank, Thank you, you, Mediator Wangari and the members. Yes, please. I think now it is clear. Yes. And uh, I am joining this group of women and for this time, please refer me as one of you, unless you chase me out. Karibu. Now, I, I'm, I'm making a reference to a mediator from Western, what she was saying, what do we do? Uh, I am one of the mediators who happens to come from Nairobi and, um, and uh, I am trained. Now, besides getting trained, because basically you must get trained to become a mediator, a, a recognized mediator, after going through those mentorship programs and eventually you are accepted, for example, in the judiciary, that may not be enough. We as individuals, we must make another step of moving. How do we get ourselves known within and outside the villages? 
Let me start from within. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Even making a card itself and giving that business card out, that's one way of selling uh, yourself that you are a mediator and you are available. That's, that's one area. Area number two, I want to believe all of us in one way or the other, the other are Christians or Muslims. And if you are in between here, very sorry, please join whether you are a Muslim or a Christian, get to your churches and make the members of your church know that there is a mediator here whom we can run to and help us to solve our disputes. Other areas is even to frontier and give voluntary services, mediation services free, pro bono services, just free to the chiefs, even to your own churches, even to the community, because they, where people are, there are disputes. And therefore, we are not going to look for disputes elsewhere. Disputes are with us and are staying with us. So we can offer pro bono services to let ourselves, to let people know that mediators are here or that there's a mediator here. Another important area where you can brand and sell yourself is attending meetings, whether in Parasa, whether in Mikutano ya DC, whether they are this company Mikutano ya teachers, Kenya National Union of Teachers, not and any other meeting, even when you have an opportunity of getting uh, you introduce yourself, please make that information to the uh, to the members that if you are the mediator so and so, and within three minutes you have said who you are and you have said what you offer and uh, and probably you have said what are the advantages of mediation. Then after we have finished from there. Please, let, we join to these forums. Like Wasiliana Hub, is a, that's a very important forum. We cannot train and stay at home and expect the people to come and look for us at our places unless we go out and look for them. We look for the services. We join forums for discussions. We network to other persons. And even we can now network from local to international. As we were saying, Opportunities are outside there. How do we reach even those opportunities which are outside there? Before we reach the opportunities which are outside there, we must see, we must also find out how do we reach to one another, we who are down here. And getting those opportunities outside there, we have said we, we need to work. And of course, I have seen some members joining to international bodies. I have seen them. Actually, I, I am one of them who's on the process. Unless and until we make ourselves available, we make ourselves known, it will be very difficult to make a step forward. I don't want to take much of your time, but I wanted to share with you some of the uh, areas where we can make ourselves known. Thank you, Madam Wangari, back to you. Okay, yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mediator Kenya, for your insights and input, uh, which ranges from uh, being proactive uh, 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 to be able to reach out to uh, villages, to mosques, to churches, to uh, uh, being able to develop business cards, volunteer services, uh, pro bono, and also putting ourselves out into the, in the, the panels that are uh, out there. So thank you for that input. We will now go to the number three. Of Actually, the, I am a member I, I am of Nairobi Center for International Arbitration. Yes, wonderful. And that's and, and, and that's what now we are we are saying with regard to how do mediators position themselves so that we can be able to have more mediators get onto um, the panels that are whether locally or internationally or even be able to create panels that that are uh, going to be able to be monetized. In other words, that they are uh, uh, panels which have a transactional value. Uh, we can kindly move to the number number three thematic area the third thematic area. Again, we, are, uh, we will uh, read through the thematic area and we can give our input with regard to how uh, we see that we can be able to have uh, 
the, the this this the value that is proposed so this is on uh, collaborative actions and it speaks into shared value and this is about causing impact and uh, the question we're asking ourselves is how might we encourage shared value in Kenyan women mediators to gel in the spirit of collective action for impact? How might we encourage shared value in Kenyan women mediators to gel in the spirit of collective action for impact? Um, some of the uh, focus areas considered are uh, self-organized clusters to impact key stakeholders. For instance, in just uh, the discussion that was going on or the comments, there was a comment that uh, there are, let's say, associations or there are meetings for uh, certain uh, stakeholders. So there could be clusters of women who now have a target or engage with them. There could be self-organized clusters on practice areas. Practice areas could be uh, for, for women family mediators, women commercial, women who are in um, uh, marine or we in mining uh, mediation, women who are in land uh, mediation, and that those are examples, then uh, there could be a design of chapters, there could be affiliations uh, locally or internationally, uh, and then also uh, a focus on uh, conflict transformation, that is capacity building of stakeholders, and then also there could be formation of movements. This can be formal or informal, uh, uh, formal as association societies, projects or initiatives, or informal. I think this is one area when you talk about collaborative action, women are known to be able to kuungana, kuungana in their very formal or informal um, systems and to produce great results. So do we have uh, yeah, any ideas we have with regard to uh, how we can be able to um, encourage shared value, gelling, coming and coming together, you know, so that we can be able to achieve uh, or, or create cause impact. It is said, if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go far, or yeah, is it? For, yeah, if you want to go far, you know, or yeah, and, and also to strengthen, you do it together. So do we have any input on this? Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Mini Mangeli, welcome. Thank you, Mediator Wangari and uh, Mediator so. Emerald. Uh, thank you for this discussion. Um, what, what came into mind when we are talking about collaborative actions and shared value? I remember one time um, Honorable Wanjala was talking about uh, how mediators cannot be everywhere. And I think I see something here about, uh, um, you know, self-organized clusters on practice areas. And I think that's a very good thing. I think if we can all be encouraged to have our own niche area so that we are not all over doing all manner of things. And, and sometimes we are not perfecting what we are doing because we are everywhere. I think that's a good area to start uh, when we are talking about uh, shared value because you will do this and I'll do this and then we'll have you know, the impact that we are looking for. I, I think that that's my comment for that. Uh, in terms of uh, you know capacity building, um, I think that is key, and I I commend the work that you're doing uh, in uh, Wasiliana Hub. Uh, I think you're doing a great job in getting people together and you know in training them and and um, just enlightening enlightening us on on the the areas that we need to be involved in. I think that's also key, and I was thinking that um, you know, as we go along, we can look at these areas, self-branding, for instance, and uh, self-awareness, confidence building. And then you can get uh, the people now in, in those areas to come and you know, train the mediator so that as they go out there, they, they, you know, their confidence is, uh, is, is very high and, 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 and you know all that. Um, so I think that's also very, very important, uh, and I think uh, Mediator Kenya Kenya has said about associations, and I think also that is very important, an encouragement too for all of us. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank yeah. Thank you for your your remarks, uh, Mediator Mini Mangeli. At this juncture, we uh, just as an inquiry, and you can be able to type in the chat. Do we have any mediators who are on the call who are part of any? Uh, uh, association, societies, uh, or, or such uh, body uh, for mediators. 
do we have any who is on the call? You can type in on the chat so that we can get to know uh, if there are any, or if you're part of uh, a self-organized cluster or any other type of affiliation. Uh, from uh, Mediatamini Mangeli, I think that the key remark is with regard to uh, being able to uh, 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 be uh, adopt a niche area, which is on the practice areas, uh, capacity building, uh, getting the people who are or who are practitioners in self-branding and being able to have mediators being trained or coached uh, through them so they can really go out in confidence and then also on the aspect of um, associations. So thank you for that uh, comment, uh, mediator Mini Mangeli. Uh, we have any other comment on uh, collaborative action, any uh, coming together, Kungana, so that we can have a greater, you know, greater either impact or be able to achieve more uh, with uh, perhaps uh, less energy or being able to bring resources together so that we can be able to uh, drive uh, something much bigger. That is what collaborative action is. Do you have any other input on that? So we can move to number four. Uh, good, good evening, Wangare. Yes, good evening, um, Pauline Wahinya. Yes, please. Yeah, thank you. Now, I, I just want to add on what you're asking about the chapters. Yes, yes. Um, in, the, in the chapters, uh, what, what, what I'm thinking is that uh, we have associations and I'm a member of some few associations. And in those associations, in most cases, there is no way, apart from the Kenya, uh, the Kenya accountants, they have a chapter for women. I was thinking if we can approach like AWAC, we, we call it AWAC. It can be, a, it can be a, an added advantage. It's an added advantage for women mediators. Those are professionals. We combine with them and then we can reach many more uh, uh, association in those chapters we are talking about. But we can start because like now the women accountants, they deal with so many cases whereby there is a lot of um, conflict in, 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 the, in the work. And those people who are a member of the association, they work in different, in different um, organizations. We can put our, uh, our foot there. We can, we can see how we can partner with them. We can sell this idea. And that can be a, a, our starting point of the chapters. Because I know it's a strong association which can do very well together with the women mediators. That is what I'm thinking first. As much as we are looking for other professional associations to give the mediation um, a footage and awareness and uh, into those many professional associations. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the, yes, uh, thank you for bringing in uh, that insight, Pauline Wahinya. And what I hear from you is the opportunity for uh, mediators to be able to reach out to other associations and being able to reach out to probably what we can call the women's wing of uh, the ex of existing associations, which are not necessarily uh, for mediators. They are professional uh, associations or societies and being able to now uh, work with them as part of enlightenment, but also as part of being able to uh, uh, cause the work of mediation to uh, be able to be used by them and them to be able to know that they can tap into women uh, mediators. So thank you for that. Uh, I, uh, a comment from uh, Florence Mudanya uh, is that there's a need to educate people on the role of the mediator. And uh, this uh, comes in also as a comment as the National Coordinator Teachers for Peace Kenya which I believe is uh, tied in with uh, also gels in very well with the comment from Pauline Wahinya, mediators being able to uh, go out and connect with uh, other existing uh, projects, initiatives, they could be uh, non-governmental organizations or uh, engagements, uh, then be able now to grow the mediation uh, conversation uh, from there. Okay, so with this, we will move to kindly to number four. We can move to the uh, number four. Uh, on the fourth one, here we are looking at enablers and uh, specifically the enabler 
that kept on being resounding as um, we have had this conversation and which um, is, is, is quite uh, relevant is technology. Uh, it's about agility, being able to be agile. And uh, uh, here is uh, mainly on how to be able to leverage. Uh, so uh, number four is on enablers and we are focusing on agility value, being able to leverage. So the question we are asking is how might we enable agility in Kenyan women mediators? to be competently confident to leverage on technology. How might we enable agility in Kenyan women mediators to be competently confident to leverage on technology? We, we are now in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a time where the uh, not uh, mediation is now focused as part of the uh, online dispute resolution, the use of online dispute resolution systems, uh, virtual mediation, uh, when uh, the country is uh, either on cessation of cessation of movement or lockdown, or even tied to the number two, where we are talking about branding as a woman mediator, that actually someone can be able to design their practice on uh, using technology, and they do not need to move from A to Z. So, what are the ideas or thoughts, um, um, if any, on how we may enable? How can you, as a woman mediator, or how can women mediators? be able to be competently confident. Those were two very key words that came out very, very strongly. Competently confident to leverage on technology. Any input on that? Any input? Yes, Wangari, I, I think in technology, it is a skill. It is really a skill which needs to be enhanced. This one to have a deliberate um, move as an individual to make sure you have the presence or you understand the technology. The people in this age who will be left with this move, it will go and it's not coming back. So this is one of the things we should encourage each one of us to get involved and understand the technology. Like now, the other time you are talking about mediating online, maybe on Zoom. How many of us can do that on Zoom? I think that is technology. Mm -hmm. so this is something we need to practice. It is not something which you just wake up one morning and say, this is easy, this is, is doable. So it is these women mediators who should make a deliberate uh, move for the members to understand that um, the technology is the way to go. It is the in being now. The COVID-19 has shown us there is no come, going back. So I, I think that is now a, a major issue here. And was Rihanna Hub, I think this is a challenge we should throw to the team so that at least it is one of the key areas where every woman mediator can say confidently, I can do this on Zoom, I can do this on whatever technology, and you are, you are, you are sure you can, this is doable. Because I think that is the way to go. But it is really a skill which need to be enhanced or taught so that we move on. Because mm -hmm. I think next time we are going to mediate online. Thank you, okay. Agari. Thank you. Uh, so thank you for your remarks, uh, Mediator Pauline Wahinya. And uh, yes, from you, we hear that uh, the, there is need to enhance uh, the that, uh, skills uh, at an individual level uh, and generally on technology and then also on the on, on technologies that are relevant or useful for mediation. And then uh, yeah, actually you just said that the challenge for us is that is that every woman can say that they can be able to use the technology um, uh, yeah, confidently and be able to be used it confidently. Uh, any other insights with regard to this area? That's basically, it's basically on enablers. Um, it's on enablers as a broad subject, but then it's uh, picked on technology as a focus, just so that it's a very sharp focus in as much as there could be many other enablers. Any other comment? We can move to number five. Uh, Media Emerald, kindly let's move to number five, please. Uh, so number five is uh, focused on uh, uh, collaborate collaborators. Um, okay, before I go to number five, I see from Florence, there's a comment uh, with regard to 
by technology, we can achieve so much within a short time. Okay, so that's just uh, that is an uh, uh, encouraging on the use of uh, of of, uh, of technology. Uh, Christina, you have your hand raised up kindly. Christina, can you? Yes, Ongari. Um, I have just a brief comment on that. On which technology? Yes, yes. Before we move to the next. Okay. Uh, I have. Uh, I think it's important that uh, all women learn how to use technology in uh, mediation, because uh, that's the way we have gone. Uh, this uh, post-COVID thing. So we we all need to be competent. I've uh, personally done two court cases online, and I found them very smooth and easy and cheaper than you know the physical ones. Uh, uh, through the mentorship that we are doing in GCLO consultancy, we have also been able to assist uh, uh, those mentees who are, in, who are on, who are coming in for CPDs. We are able to assist them to learn technology, uh, using technology in mediation. That is uh, virtual mediation and also being to attend classes online. You know, like what we are doing now, by the way, it is actually a, a virtual uh, meeting and uh, virtual, it's learning in its own way. So kind of, um, uh, as Wangari has put it, we, we, we need to push this agenda so that uh, women are encouraged to be confident, to face the new thing. It's a new thing, doing, doing, uh, doing a mediation virtually. Uh, there is need to do this uh, on a large scale. Uh, thank you, that's, that's my contribution. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mediator uh, Christina, for, for your comments. And uh, from uh, yourself, Christina Kinua, what uh, um, I've picked from you is on two areas, uh, mentees and also the, the aspect of CPDs or continuous professional development in uh, digital skills or digital skills uh, as part of uh, the continuous development programs and also for mentees. Thank you for that. Uh, kindly, Emerald, we may move to number five. Uh, we, we are uh, two minutes into our closing time and we will be able to keep to our closing time. So we are now on our uh, uh, final one, which is on collaborators and stakeholders. And this is back again to an area where we are, we say that uh, yes, if we, there are others. And even if there are others in the work, um, how can we have uh, transformation uh, brought in or transformation of value brought in by women mediators and we are saying as movers and shakers so key question uh, that we, is how might we enhance the transformation of value of Kenyan women mediators through strategic positioning as the movers and shakers of mediation in Kenya uh, and uh, how might we enhance the transformation of value of women of Kenyan women mediators through strategic positioning uh, through strategic positioning as the movers and shakers of mediation in Kenya. Do we have any comments or any, in, in, any insights? Hello, Ongari. Uh, yes, yes, please, Mediator Christina. Mediator Christina, yes, please. Yes, uh, just, yes, uh, I want to comment on that. Uh, from um, Mediator Okenye, Okenye's uh, uh, comment, um, uh, it's important that uh, we get make ourselves known. You see, people will not come to the wherever you are to look for you and ask you, are you a mediator or this and that? No, but you take yourself out there, advertise yourself, tell if, like for me, Anybody who cares to listen to me, I'll tell you I'm mediator Christina. That's how I introduce myself. And then that creates us, oh, okay, what does that mean? And now I go on uh, explaining what that means. And uh, that has meant uh, um, people get to know a lot about mediation. Just as mediator, can you also put it? Go to church, in church, let people know. Wherever you visit, let people know. Go and introduce yourself. So uh, just to repeat his words, um, by the way, he's my mentor. So I think it's important that uh, we, we, we get that confidence to say that we are actually mediators. And, and let me put this from, from my experience in the field as I am a mediator trainer, uh, from my uh, experience as I've been training mediators is that uh, if you train and you don't get mentorship, you lack 
you fail to get that confidence to talk about mediation and also to, to, to practice and even to introduce yourself. So there is a need also for women mediators to be encouraged to get mentorship as much as possible so that whether you get caught next or not, you can still confidently go ahead and, and assist the people in the community and help enhance harmony within the community. And uh, thank you, thank you, Wangari. Okay. Okay, Th uh, thank you for that. Um, I think also something else we pick from uh, this is, uh, is with regard uh, to the aspect of uh, yeah, mentorship development. Uh, and Reed Kamunde comments with regard to, yes, I have learned well on branding. Yes, uh, the, and, uh, the, the, the aspect of branding. Uh, we, uh, uh, let me read out Florence Mudani, then we come to uh, Mini Mangeli. So from Florence, uh, uh, there's need uh, to give women relevant information and in building the confidence. So that also can uh, kindly go into the, the, the main document. Mini Mangeli. Yeah, in terms of uh, thematic area number five. Um, yes, please. You know, collaborators and stakeholders, how we can have trans transformational value. Yes. I see uh, networking opportunities. Okay, networking, yes. Um, either with the, the, the stakeholders or collaborators themselves. To, to create value in the areas that uh, some of these stakeholders are. I think uh, networking would be very key uh, when you expose the women mediators uh, to network either you know, with, the, with the academia, uh, the mediation service centers, the local yes. governments, you know, all the stakeholders that are listed. I think networking is key. Another one, I don't know whether it relates more with the branding, Yes. Um, and I think uh, Mediator or Kenya or Kenya talked about it, you know, getting ourselves out there uh, in terms of um, writing articles. I don't know whether we, we can have, say, a magazine or, or a sort of online or publication where, you know, mediators can be encouraged to write and maybe write about, you know, some of the challenges they go through you know, while, uh, you know, handling some of the, the cases that uh, we do. I don't know, that would also be an area where uh, I, I think we can add some, some value when it comes to transformation. Thank you, Mediator Wangari. Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, for that, uh, um, uh, co for those comments, uh, Medita uh, Mini Mangeli. From you, we have got on uh, networking with, and also on uh, 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 writing of articles, and I think also something else that uh, is uh, uh, and, and publications uh, that can be done, can be done, and then also uh, the opportunity for uh, being able to uh, give the experiences uh, for sharing experiences. And this can actually be documented. Uh, and uh, at the same time, now that they're documented, there can be like an exchange uh, yes. from using that. Yeah, using what is documented by mediators that can allow one to be able to improve or to be able to uh, master, master a bit more, uh, better what they have been able to either or they have done and now uh, get some insights on uh, how else to be able to approach this. So colleagues and friends, we would like to be able to close on this session, which is uh, uh, scheduled to uh, close at this at this hour, at this, I mean, at this time. Uh, we'd like to thank you for joining into this conversation. Uh, uh, since uh, this is a, an ongoing uh, conversation, uh, we will be able to share out an invite to as uh, the next session, which allows us to be able to come and still be able to build on this um, conversation. You noticed we have our table and it has gaps and it's those gaps that we have just been filling uh, slowly. And uh, it's, 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 it's maybe, it may seem like a very slow journey, but it's actually been very, it, it continues to be a very, very insightful uh, journey. And we are really, really grateful because it's helping us to uh, clarify uh, how we can be able to move together, um, all of us, because, we are all out there in our own very independent ways, 
but possibly there's ways we can be able to come on together and most of all, not even just for ourselves, but for the wider uh, um, mission of what mediation um, can be able to do for, for the country. So I send us back to our moderator, Mediator Emerald Medega, who I also thank for um, taking this time to moderate us for this session. Kindly, Mediator Emerald, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mediator Wangari. And with that, we've reached the close of the session. Um, I'd like to extend a very big thank you to all the ladies and gentlemen that have joined today and have taken the time to join and to participate in keeping the conversation alive and in helping building the document. As, as, as Mediator Wangari has said, it's a, it's a conversation that needs to keep on going and needs to keep on moving and growing so that we can see growth and see movement in um, what we're trying to achieve. So thank you so much for taking up the time and also for participating and being attentive and uh, yeah being part of the process um, also a big I extend a very big thank you to mediator um, Wangari our convener uh, for taking us uh, quite clearly through the process and uh, giving all of us a chance to be able to express ourselves and express every single point that we had and um, as I mentioned earlier again we'll have this session again so that we can keep on having this conversation and hopefully we can uh, fill out the blanks and uh, we can have um, a working document, a document that has, you know, uh, smart goals and achievables that we can put into practice and, and, and see our dream come alive. Um, so kindly be on the lookout for the next notice and the next invite and we hope to see all of you and uh, with that we've come to the close of this to the close of the session we will also end with um, uh, the, the second stanza of the national anthem which I believe is in spirit of uh, what we are trying to uh, build today or the discussion for today and this time it will be in English I will put up on the screen and then um, I will guide you through it let one and all arise with hearts both strong and true. Service be our earnest endeavor and our homeland of Kenya, heritage of splendor, firm may we stand to defend. And with that, thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end. Thank you so much for being here and um, we hope to see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you again for joining and participating um, in this uh, today's session. And just as a quick recap uh, of what we have gone through today, we were tackling uh, the Kenya uh, Kenya women as professional mediators agenda. And um, <clears throat> what we were looking at today was to be able to go through the thematic areas that <clears throat> are. Uh, I've, I've stopped so that. And so uh, what we basically went through was, um, was the Kenyan women as professional mediators agenda. And the goal here is to have uh, plus 10,000 Kenyan women in mediation within the year 2021 and 2022, who are most importantly inspired, empowered and supported. To develop this or to enable this achievement of this goal, we are looking at five thematic areas in a nutshell, self-development of women mediators and uh, in this one, we are referring to what is their intrinsic value and their uh, worth. Um, then the second thematic area is branding as women mediators. What is um, their external transactional value and how can it, and, and in terms of monetization or how it can be monetized. And then the fourth thematic area was collaborative actions uh, in terms of shared value. What is the shared value and impact that we can create as collectively as women mediators <clears throat> and then number four was enablers. And uh, we are looking at agility value. What is our capacity or our ability to be able to be agile enough to leverage ourselves with the enablers that are currently available uh, for us? Key, in, key among them is uh, technology, key among them being technology. And then the last thematic area was uh, collaborators, stroke and or, and here we are using and or stakeholders because um, 
both 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 terms refer to the people that we want to uh, work with. So we have collaborators and or uh, stakeholders. And in terms of transformational value, in order for us to reach that point where we are the movers and shakers um, of, of of this uh, industry. And so with this agenda we are we are we believe that there is no limit to what we can accomplish together and as you've seen through the session we were able to tackle each thematic area individually and with each th thematic area there was a particular question that we were seeking to answer hope and in hopes of uh, being able to tackle each thematic area so for the first thematic area which was self-development and women mediators looking at deep, uh, deeply into their in, intrinsic value and worth, we were looking to answer how might we stimulate the intrinsic self-value of Kenyan women mediators so that they can step out in courage that they are equipped, competent, and confident of their worth. Uh, for the second thematic area, the question that we was uh, put on plenary and we were uh, seeking to answer was that how might we package the external transactional value of Kenyan women mediators in their practice of mediation to be visible, create an impression, and, manage, and be monetized? Remember here, for the second thematic area, we were looking at branding as Kenyan women mediators and looking uh, specifically at what is their external transactional value in terms of monetization. For the third thematic area, which was collaborative actions and uh, shared value impact that we can create and the impact that we can create collectively, the question that you are looking to answer is how might we encourage shared value in Kenyan women mediators to gel in the spirit of collective actions for impact? The fourth thematic area, which was on enablers, and here we were referring to agility, value, and leverage, we were looking at technology as one of uh, the significant uh, enablers that we are currently um, privileged to have around us, especially during um, these uh, pandemic times. And uh, also looking in terms of the future, uh, in terms of the post-pandemic uh, post world that we'll be living in, what is the role of technology and how can we leverage uh, ourselves when it comes to uh, technology? So. The question you are looking to answer is how might we enable ag agility in Kenyan women mediators to be competently confident to leverage on technology? And then finally, where the last thematic area where we were looking at collaborators and or stakeholders, transformational value uh, in terms of them being movers and shakers. The question that we were looking to answer was how might we enhance the transformational value of Kenyan women mediators through strategic positioning as the movers and shakers of mediation in Kenya. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is a basic synopsis of what we have gone through today. We hope to keep the conversation alive. We hope to keep this conversation alive so that we can keep on enhancing the topic and the discussion. And then we can now move this um, from uh from from a, a discussion that we're having here uh to a point where we have um smart points and uh smart action points that we can be able to employ to be able to meet some to be able to achieve our goal and um and so with that uh we have come to, to the end of the session uh, again, very grateful for your attendance, for your joining us and taking time to join us and participate. And uh, thank you so much. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. Have a lovely evening.